guys, so it has been way too long since I made a video, but things have finally kind of started opening up a little bit here. So I finally got to do two yard sales, or two weekends of yard sales, and then a little bit of thrifting stuff. So I'm gonna kind of show you that. Um, like I said, this is from a weekend ago, and this weekend finally, finally got out yard selling. Um, I am not gonna do them in order of like which sales I went to, because I wanna show you guys all the straw things I found first. I have been really getting lucky with straw items. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this chair. And I have wanted one of these for so long. I see so many people using them as a plant stand and it looks so cute. So I picked this up. I am gonna go ahead and trim this off because I want it to be more neutral and it looks like it's kind of just stuck on there really loosely. So I'm gonna take that off and then this looks like it was added after the fact because it's already starting to fray. I'm gonna kind of peel that off. And then I'm gonna use it as a plant stand. I don't know which plant yet, but you guys, I paid a quarter for this. So I was so excited when he said a quarter because I probably would have paid like $4 at least for this. Usually in my head when things aren't priced, I try and make up like my, my ultimate high point that I would pay. Um, that way, you know, I don't do like that awkward, well, you know, mm, thing. So a quarter for this guy, I was so excited for that. And I have a little clutch that I picked up at a thrift store. And I think this was like $2.99, I took the tags out. But this is one of those ones that is handmade and I think Barbados, yeah. So it's probably one of those things that you would go and you'd see like in a market, like a handmade type item and you'd pick it up as like your trip souvenir. And I just thought this was so fun. So you can do it like a little clutch type thing or you can put a strap. I'm looking for the right kind of strap. I picked up, what did I pick up? I picked up a clutch at the thrift store the same weekend that had, um, a gold strap with little clasps and it just didn't look right so for now I'm just using it as a clutch okay and I've got three more straw items to show you guys so the next three all came from the same sale it was an estate sale so you got to go in the house and everything everybody was masked up so it was I felt safe-ish um, but she had an amazing collection of straw hats and I regret only buying one I went back later in the day I took my mom back to show her the sale too and the hats are already gone by then. So the reason I only got one is because they all had price tags on them. And this one was priced at two, which isn't a bad price. And the other ones had price tags like $5, $3, whatever. But it was the first sale of the day and I didn't want to go crazy. But then when I went to pay and check out, she's like, oh, that's, that's not $2. Give me 50 cents for that. So it was like, if I had known, I would have grabbed like all of them. Because there was like a little kind of like a fedora style one, a Panama hat, whatever. Um, but this one I liked because it had the tie and it came with a like um, polyester type blue ribbon. But I took that out and just put on a white one and I have my hair right now up so it's gonna look weird. But I don't really know what I'm doing with the ties yet, whether I'm just gonna tuck them in the hat. I feel weird tying it like a bonnet. But I've been using hats like this when I am out in the sun a lot. So when I was doing like weeding in the yard, I, wear, I would wear a straw hat. And then we also recently got to go to like a town beach um, once it reopened. They had like a limit of people and you had to wear masks unless you're in the water. But things like this, I would wear, I wore it there too. And then the last two straw things, let me just fix my hair from that hat. Um, and I don't, it's probably a little shorter from the last video. I actually had my husband cut it during quarantine um, and then I dyed it myself. So I've honestly been doing that all along anyways. I guess having like an anxiety disorder kind of prepares you for the not being able to get stuff done places because it freaked me out before. So I'm definitely not gonna do it now. But um, I picked up these fans and I know they're over the top and they're weird. I think they would look cool as wall decor, honestly. Um, I think if I was going to hang this on the wall, I would remove these because it looks like you can just easily, you know, clip the little strings from the back. But I thought that these would be kind of cute, like if I'm on the porch reading magazines or books, you know, just kind of like old fashioned and over the top. And I just think they're really cute. And I think these were a dollar a piece. And then at that yard sale, they had the fans and the hat. I also picked up a scarf. And I've got it tied up here because I tried to feed this through the hat first because I thought this would have been really pretty wrapped around it. I just couldn't get it through without ripping it. Um, so it's just a really pretty 
silk. It's got like the hand rolled edges and the brand is Ricardo, which I've never heard of, but I liked the print. And I know that back in the beginning of the, like the quarantine and the pandemic and stuff, um, when I actually, they were doing like press conferences every night and I would watch literally, I mean, cause I was scared too, but I would watch just to see what scarf Deborah Burks was wearing because she had so many neat scarves. And I, you know, I thought just, it could just be something like that in the fall. I wouldn't do it now cause I would be overheated, but. And I think maybe a dollar. I don't remember cause I lumped everything together and it was like $6, so. Okay, um, I picked up some Christmas items, and these are not for me to keep, actually. These I'm going to sell, I think, on eBay, probably. So I went grocery shopping yesterday, and on the way home, I saw a yard sale, and I went on my own, which was crazy for me, because it's so awkward sometimes to ask people when things aren't priced. But So the first thing I found was this, and this is a blow mold candle. It's the Empire Plastic Corp. Um, but it's still in its original like shrink wrap packaging. So it looks a little dirty because it's been sitting like stored in a box. So I mean, once you pull the plastic off, you'll be able to clean it, but I don't want to do that because I mean, it, somebody might want the original plastic wrap. So I thought that was really cool and I paid a dollar for that. I paid a dollar for this Christmas banner and all I can see is the M and the H. Um, so I'm not going to open this because, like I said, this is another, like, I think they call it new old stock. And I want this to stay in its package for whoever gets it. And then the last item I picked up, they had a bunch of these, also new old stock. I'm guessing they probably bought out a storage locker or something because they had a whole bunch of vintage Christmas new in the package. They just had a whole bunch of, like, different things in groups. So I picked this up for $2.00. These also have never been used gleam lights. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't use them. I'd use it more for like decoration sitting on a shelf or something. So I thought they were fun. Oh, and I didn't show you the box for these guys. They were originally from Play Togs and they were $2.99. I always love it when they have like the original store price tag. We had Play Togs uh, maybe up until 10 years ago or so we used to have it. Um, but then it kind of just went away. Okay, so the next things I have to show you are all like clothing and fashion items I picked up either from a thrift store or from a yard sale. So I'm gonna just start with, I'll start with this blazer. So I picked up just a navy blue blazer. It's from H&M and it's got just a striped lining, but this part is like a jersey material. So these are a lot more comfortable for me when they're jersey because I have broad shoulders compared to like everything else. Um, I don't know whether I was born that way or it's from doing gymnastics, but things like this, I feel like they're always in the shoulders. Like I can never go like that. So if it's jersey, it makes it really easy. And this was only $5. I thought this would be really great for the fall, um, fall, winter, you know. I mean, it'd even be cute over something like this in the fall. This is just a uh, jumpsuit. I know you can't see the whole thing, but when quarantine started, I went on Amazon and I bought a black jumpsuit and a navy jumpsuit. The navy one is what I'm wearing now. Um, and then at Airy, I bought an olive green one and I've kind of been using those three jumpsuits. And then caftans from H&M have kind of been like my glam around the house type thing. Cause I didn't want to just be in sweatpants all the time. I want to feel fancy. So, you saw the blazer and I also picked up this adorable little leather bag. So this is one of those ones that looks like actually it was handmade. So you can see like that, you can see like where they left all the stitches and then the inside is kind of like the rough leather. Now this bag is really small. It probably, it definitely won't fit my phone. It might fit a wallet, like a small wallet, but I just thought it was kind of cute, like a crossbody thing. If you wanted to just tuck some like money in it to do yard selling or thrifting, um, yard ceiling because you could just leave like your other stuff in the car and it does have some watermarks and stuff so I'm going to go ahead and try and fix this guy up and my plan was I'm going to saddle soap it which is how I clean like my leather shoes and stuff I thought that maybe that would help with the marks and then if it doesn't I have a light tan leather dye that I'm just going to try and cover it up and see what happens and this guy was two dollars okay I have 
three shirts, or not three shirts, two shirts from Salvation Army and a skirt. So I picked up this skirt and it's still got a TJ Maxx price tag on it. And it's from the brand Premise. And it's just a black pencil skirt. It's a black like ponty knit pencil skirt, so it's stretchy, it's uh, flattering. And I have actually two by this brand that are already black, but I thought that for $2, why not have a backup because mine has some pills on it. I've been like fabric shaving it, but this way I have another one to put into the rotation. So this one's just black and the zipper hidden in the back. I have another one that has like the gold exposed zipper, but for $2, another one to add in is not a bad thing. And I picked up this t-shirt for $2. This is from the brand Lily's Closet. And I don't know, I have to look it up. It either, I was, I mean, the way the tag is designed, I thought maybe it could be like an anthropology brand, but I'm not sure. It could also just be like a TJ Maxx, like, like off name brand, whatever. But I love striped shirts and I thought this was really fun. It's actually embroidered on there. So I've got the striped shirt with the embroidered flowers and it's a little bit cropped. So this will be nice with any like high-waisted pants, pencil skirts, things like that. Okay, the last shirt I picked up at Salvation Army was also $2 and this is just by the brand Nautica. It's a size small and I haven't tried it on yet so fingers crossed it's gonna fit me. But I loved the style of this. So it is navy blue and then it's got the white stripes down the side and kind of like the white on the inside of the neckline there. And the back has this Nautica thing. Um, I may remove that, I don't know. But I kind of liked how this was like an athleisure look. Um, it's, it's casual, but it's like that polyester chiffon type material. So it's not as casual as a t-shirt. So you can kind of do this. And if I had like a jogger style pant or something, I think it'd be cute with this kind of half tucked into the waist. And then you could even do like a heel if you wanted to dress it up even more. So I thought that would be fun. And I am probably gonna close up the neckline a little bit. Something I've been doing a lot while I've been home is learning how to alter and sew my clothes. So I've always been somebody who hems pants because I'm only 5'5". And um, I found this new tape that you can just put on and it doesn't even need to be ironed. So you can just kind of stick the neckline up like an inch or so. And you know, something like that will be like an easy thing to do, but it'll make me feel more comfortable in that top. And then the last item I saved is something that I have had on my list now. It's a pair of white linen pants. And I have had a pair of linen pants on my wish list for so long. I picked up a pair at Walmart. Time and True came out with these really great drawstring waist ones. And they had one in a chambray color. It was awesome. It was amazing. I was so excited. But I didn't know that linen seems to stretch out as you wear it. So I brought it in, I bought it in a medium, which is the size I would normally buy. And by the end of the day, they were equivalent to like an extra large. They had gotten so like relaxed and worn out and I had no clue. And by then they were sold out in the smalls. So I got this one. This one is a linen rayon blend. The front is a flat front with like the zip and the button. It had a drawstring, but I cut it out because I don't really want the drawstring there. And then the back is elasticated, so it gives you like a little bit of ease, but just so excited for these. And they're thick enough that you can't see through them. And yeah, just a nice straight leg all the way down. I had it folded a little because I'm gonna hem these later. These are from the brand Habanerico, which I've never heard of before. But I saw them at a yard sale sitting on the table. It said size medium. In my mind, these look really tiny to me, but they ended up fitting, so I'm good with it. Um, something crossed off my list. There's actually a pair on jcrew.com that I've been watching. They're $88. And I've been watching because they have sale cycles where you, you never pay full price. So I've been waiting, thinking like if it gets down to like $20, I'd feel comfortable buying it. So I've been watching and waiting. But then I happened to see these laying on the table and $2. So you can't go wrong there. They have the same exact look. And for $2, I'm gonna wear them comfortably. If they got stained, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I don't know how linen holds up to like deep cleaning and stuff, because this is my first pair of linen pants. So that is everything that I picked up over these past couple weekends now that I've been able to do a little bit of yard sailing again. Um, 
So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up. Hopefully yard sales will continue in my area. Um, things are kind of dicey. But um, I hope you guys are all staying safe. I hope you're all, you know, staying in, staying safe, wearing your masks, doing what you got to do. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.